the software catalog in Harness IDP is a centralized system that tracks ownership and metadata for all your software components, example, libraries, websites, services, etc. Hi, I am Dev Brother, your DevRel engineer for Harness IDP module. And today, in this tutorial, we will deep dive into how to register a software component into your software catalog in Harness IDP. So as you could see, I am presently in the IDP module and this is uh, my catalog page. Uh, so uh, for this particular video tutorial, uh, we will be following this uh, docs based tutorial in Harness Developer Hub, how to register a software component in catalog. So before uh, registering a software component, we need to create an IDP YAML for that software component. And this is all the information required uh, provided here to create your IDP YAML. So we will be using the example YAML that I've given here uh, to uh, create a IDP YAML for my software component. I'll go here I'll and try to create a new file. So in this repository, all my IDP YAML live. Uh, let's name them IDP demo dot YAML and I'll copy paste the contents. But uh, I don't have a page duty integration key at present. Let's see if we have it at another uh, page. So yeah. I had created another video and I have used so let's use all these annotations okay let's go and let's add all these annotations here yeah so here we have got so these annotations basically are used to reference external items in your harness IDP uh, IDP module so basically here you could see there is harness project URL uh, to reference your CI CD pipelines your github project slug to give you information on open PRs uh, your Grafana uh, plugin will require all this overview dashboard alert level selector uh, and then your Jira tickets will be shown here using Jira project key and your PagerDuty uh, plugin will use uh, this PagerDuty service ID. Uh, let's add some more links. Uh, uh, I mean, for the demo purpose here, I think, yeah. Yeah, so I think this looks like a, let's keep the owner as, let's keep the owner as my name and the life cycle is fraud. Uh, yeah, my new service is a good name to have. Let's commit these changes. IDP demo YAML. Okay, let's now see. Oh, did it create or not? Yeah, here is it. IDP demo dot YAML. And let's now copy this uh, URL. This will be of use. Uh, so let's now uh, try to register uh, the software component we have created. Uh, I have already copied the URL. Let's paste it and let's analyze it okay it's analyzed let's try to import it okay yeah my new service is let's go and now view the component so yeah the component is here and yeah life cycle is production owner is me these are the links and uh, this is the jira and this is the pager duty that uh, pager duty service that we have added to and these are the grafana uh, dashboards Basically, uh, let's say I want to change uh, certain things here. Let's say I want to update the owner name. Uh, how do I do it? Yeah, uh, we go here and again, if I go here and let's owner change the put it SDF, commit changes, commit changes there. I go back to this page and yeah, refresh is scheduled. I think it will get refreshed. Uh, oops. Okay it didn't work as desired let's hard refresh it okay yeah so on hard refreshing you will find the owner name is asdf so basically the uh, uh, this didn't function because the pooling time here to update the catalog is 30 minutes and uh, that's why then any hard refresh would update the name and uh, if you press here the edit it will directly redirect you to the edit page of your uh, like software component uh, metadata or the IDP YAML here. Uh, so this is how uh, basically you register your software components in your catalog page. Uh, and then uh, let's say I want to unregister this entity, just uh, go here and unregister and this location will be unregistered and it would no more be found in my catalog.
So basically, this is how you need to register your software components uh, in your catalog and edit it on the page itself. And yeah, as you could see here, uh, it will show all the information regarding the same. And from this page as well, I could go uh, add it to my favorites. And you know, when I add it to my favorite in the overview page, it will show as a favorite. And you no, know, uh, directly I can go and edit uh, it from here as well. So yeah, you could see I can edit and commit the changes. So that was all uh, on how to register a uh, software component in Harness IDP catalog. And uh, we will be following uh, this tutorial uh, to register a software component uh, in catalog. And so there are two ways to do it. One is the UI way, which we just saw. And then there is this API way, which I'm go going to demonstrate now. So basically, uh, let's let's copy this curl example and try to register my software component uh, using Postman. Uh, let me import this curl. Yeah, it's important. Uh, so as you could see, there is uh, we need two things. Uh, one is account identifier, and then in headers you need your X API key, and your body. Uh, yeah. So I think this is a mistake here. Let's just uh, convert. Okay. I think yeah. We need to keep it raw, and raw as in it should be in JSON format. Okay, so uh, we will, uh, so I have already uh, used uh, one pad key here. I'll use this again uh, here. Uh, remember to generate the pad key. Okay, let me show you how to generate the pad key. So you can go to your profile here and uh, there is a backtest test. Let's start a token, demo token uh, video. I will generate this token and uh, we will be following uh, this tutorial uh, to register a software component uh, in catalog and so there are two ways to do it one is the ui way which we just saw and then there is this api way which i am go going to demonstrate now so basically uh, let's let's copy this curl example and try to register my software component uh, using postman uh, let me import this curl yeah it's important uh, so as you could see, there is uh, we need two things. Uh, one is account identifier, and then in headers you need your X API key, and your body. Uh, yeah. So I think this is a mistake here. Let's just uh, convert. Okay. I think yeah. We need to keep it raw, and raw as in it should be in JSON format. Okay, so uh, we will, uh, so I have already uh, used uh, one pad key here. I'll use this again uh, here. Uh, remember to generate the pad key. Okay, let me show you how to generate the pad key. So you can go to your profile here and uh, there is a backtest test. Let's start a token, demo token uh, video. I will generate this token, copy this, close this, and when you go here, and let's let's uh, copy paste it here. Here, let's paste it. So the account uh, that I am going to use is this one. So let's use it here. VPC. Yeah, VPC, and okay. Same goes here as well. Yeah. Uh, now I want to register a software catalog. Uh, this is the target URL of my uh, software component. Uh, let's let's use uh, this URL instead, uh, and my new service will be registered. So yeah, and let's try to send it. Okay, so you could see uh, 201 created and target is this uh, location ID entity is created. Now let's go and check the same. Uh, okay, in my I'm in my IDP module. Let's check for my new service. Yeah, you see here my new service has been created here and yeah, this is how you use your uh, use the catalog API endpoint to 
register your software component uh, into uh, software catalog and there is an example uh, you know you could use this catalog api and run the script to register 100 of your software components in your software catalog and uh, this is this helps you for uh, onboarding hundreds of your services into harness idp copy this close this and when you go here and let's let's uh, copy paste it here yeah let's paste it so the account uh, that i am going to use is this one so let's use it here vpc yeah vpc and okay same goes here as well yeah uh, now I want to register a software catalog uh, this is the target URL of my uh, software component uh, let's let's use uh, this URL instead um, and my new service will be registered so yeah and let's try to send it okay so you could see uh, 201 created and target is this uh, location ID entity is created now let's go and check the same Okay, in my I'm um, in my IDP module. Let's check for my new service. Yeah, you see here my new service has been created here, and yeah, this is how you use your uh, use the catalog API endpoint to register your software component uh, into uh, software catalog and there is an example uh, you know you could use this catalog api and run the script to register 100 of your software components in your software catalog and uh, this is this helps you for uh, onboarding hundreds of your services into harness idp so thank you uh, that's all uh, from me uh, in this tutorial uh, if you want to have a demo of idp please do reach out to us on this page uh, at harness.io slash demo slash internal developer portal i'll put it in the uh, video description for you uh, thank you now stay tuned for new tutorials and new videos